Hey everybody, this is Arathus, and welcome back to Final Theory. So I think we're going to do what we mentioned at the end of the last episode. I'm probably gonna, just going to run through here and purge this whole area. Get myself a few more systems um, and see what happens. Either way, though, I can't do anything else this turn, so might as well let it finish. Man, the yellow guy is just losing fleets. I do like watching the green guy struggle. I mean, he's putting up a hell of a fight, even though, ultimately, he's just getting, he's just losing territory. And he's got the weakest military by far, which is weird for me to say, because I'm used to having the weakest military by far in this game. Yep, let's take out that fleet, please. And here we go. Just a battleship. It's not just a battleship, but, I mean, you know what I mean. That's his biggest ship there. Well, unless you count the carrier. I think the carrier counts as a... Well, it's about the same size in terms of the model. Yeah, I really don't use the Corvette as much as I should. It just seems unnecessary. It doesn't really help me a whole hell of a lot so far. Oh, you're gonna aim for my battle cruisers? Fine. My battle cruisers are gonna strip your shields down right now, then. And that's what you get. Hmm. Not sure what the point of that movement was, but okay. No need to rush all the way in. Bring the EMP guns to bear. Can you hit him from here? I kind of don't think you can. Oh, you can. Well, that's good to know. Now, the battleship will definitely come all the way into range. As far as it can go. and tear that apart. Okay. Now you. Good God. Now I'll throw in the Corvette. I mean, it's gonna die. Like, there is no doubt. Something in here is gonna kill it. Probably the battleship I'm aiming at, frankly. Way to just strip that thing's shields all the way down. And you're not going to be able to reach him to finish the job. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's weird, I haven't run into a single battleship that can do what I do quite yet. Which is do the uh, kinetic and plasma. Oh, he's still gonna die. I mean, appreciate you trying to heal him up, but he gonna die. Let's start with you. And we're gonna send a thermal barrage right into you. I know you have turrets. And I know you're gonna block a bunch of those. I am aware. EMP cannons. Thermal barrage. P barrage. Eh, 
Excellent. Now we're gonna purge some of your friends over here. With this. This. And this. Okay, bring you up right behind him. And kinetic guns. Kinetic cannons finish him. Not quite. That's fine. Holy crap. I wasn't expecting him to basically double dip there, but he did, and he finished it. What more can you ask? I can't reach anybody else unless I do. Kinetic fuel. Kinetic fuel? Ex auxiliary fuel, good lord. Eh, it won't do much to this guy, and that's fine. His shields are going to absorb the vast majority of that. But you know what I can do? Hi, dude. Enjoy the plasma blasters. <laughs> The brutal, brutal weapons that are the plasma blasters. Thank you for the research. Yeah, still can't, still can't boost anything. Hmm. That poor green guy is just constantly being embattled right now. It's just not working out well for him. You know, make me another battleship. Oh, that thing's almost out of tactium. It's not worth dropping anything in there. Okay. Now, we're gonna move this fleet. I think we're gonna take this. And I'm not gonna auto-resolve, because again, I don't wanna lose my Dreadnought. And I will lose my Dreadnought. Okay. Everybody just move forward. Uh, this fleet's going to get annihilated. <laughs> uh, most fleets we've been running into are going to get annihilated. We're just kind of steamrolling most fleets we run into. I mean, which makes sense considering the fleets we've got, we're have got we bringing down on their heads. Like how they're bringing the destroyers in to support the bat, uh, the carrier, as it should be. That just seems unnecessary. I don't know why why you did that, but okay. I think we're gonna need a lot of guns uh, to bring down the shields on the carrier. Always seems to go that way. Thankfully, if we keep our distance a little bit, uh, we can get most of our ships to sight down on him. believe you'll finish him right now, my Dreadnought. Those are some big guns. cruiser. And now these guns. Plasma is so much fun, so we're going to start with that. I wish more of my ships had plasma weapons. They are extremely overpowered, though, so I understand why they're not.
Go ahead, take your shots. It's fine. I'm prepared to crush your fleets. up here maybe use the plasma blaster to bring him down there you go but we throw an EMP barrage at that as well I know a couple of my a couple of them are gonna hit my own ships but that's fine See about throwing an EMP barrage into you. Then a thermal barrage to hopefully finish you. There we go. Kinetic guns here. Plasma cannons there. Thermal barrage there. <laughs> oh, that is so much fun. <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for the enemy sometimes. EMP. Let's go for this dude with the EMP barrage. Then I'll do a thermal barrage to finish him. EMP cannons on that. But I think you can finish him with missiles, right? He'll get over that wreck. There you go. <laughs> Oh, the technology. It all belongs to me now. What'd I get? Ah, it's another battleship ground. Okay. Well, it looks like I know where my next fleet has to go. Just tachnium warheads going off all over the place. Sure, keep it up. I don't care if you destroy each other's fleets. And the green guy's losing more territory. You don't want to get any closer to me, yellow. Just saying. Can I construct another battleship? I can. So yeah, we're getting pretty close to the point where I... Oh no, we are at the point where I can build another battleship fleet. This time... In full. Oh hell yes. We don't need... Who needs a dreadnought? Crap, I should have moved there, because then I could have killed two birds with one stone, moved here, and then... Yeah. That was a mistake. Oh well. Yeah, I want to hunt down that fleet. Huh. Yellow's getting really aggressive. You still have Tachnium? You do. Let's deploy a Harvester. I don't really want to upgrade my carriers. Like, I don't think I even have a fleet with a carrier. I wonder if I could take him. Another Tachnium Warhead. Ooh, you can take out the greens. Man, poor green dude. Two Dreadnoughts, too. Ouch. Two Dreadnoughts, two battleships, and what are those, cruisers? Yeah, that, that would hurt. Okay. I don't like this now. Oh, you mother... Alright, fine. Actually, you know what? Let's collect that. 
What I can do is I can put an interception fleet out here. One, two, three, one battleship. I believe I still have a few battleships in production. Well, we at least have two in production now. Okay, so how big is this fleet? 1760? 1424. So he technically has a stronger fleet. I'm gonna try it anyway. My battleships are brutal, that's why I'm trying it anyway. And I don't think his battleships are a match for mine. They're Mark Threes, so they don't even have the weapon capabilities of mine. So let's go ahead and bring the fleets together. Yeah, I just wanted the blue guy out of my territory, so... Let's see what he does. Your carriers aren't going to help you overly much. Let me just make that clear. Yeah, I think that's all he's really got are the plasma barrages. And that is the biggest threat his fleet poses, is the plasma barrages. And I can take out his destroyers and corvettes and cruisers, not cruisers, um, frigates in one turn. Like one full-on barrage, I got him. Start, just start hitting this dude's shields with everything you got. No, no, stop shooting. Whew. Well, that was a mistake. Alright. This thing's shields are down. That thing's taken a beating, huh? I can help him, though. I think it's cool how they're basically trying to get into position to keep the battleship alive. These guys are going to repair its armor. Okay, I thought they were going to repair its armor. Okay, let's go with... I want to move you forward. How about we do EMP cannons? Let's take out some of the smaller ships. Let's get rid of these guys entirely. Because once those small ships are gone... Uh, their defensive capabilities are going to go away with them. Let's get up in here. Kinetic guns. If I can kill you... But I can send some thermal missiles at you. Main reason I moved up here was to use a shield booster. Okay. Can you... Kill this. Nope. I could have hit him though, that's a shame.
my plasma weapons would have devastated him if had I had I actually used them. I'd be shocked. Okay, there go those shields, probably. Yeah, I'd be shocked if they don't repair the armor on the other battleship now. That doesn't surprise me. But I can blow through those guys now. And my battleship is down completely in terms of shield strength. That's not good. Yeah, I should have figured that was coming. I did figure that was coming, actually. Alright. Gotta kill the little bastards now. a long animation for those two. I mean, I don't mind overly much, but it's still kind of annoying. Alright, time to break these little ships is what I think needs to happen. Alright, EMP Barrage. Let's talk, you and I. Say goodbye to your carrier. Probably say goodbye to your um, destroyer here. Yes, yes, I know you have point defense weapons. I'm gonna activate mine now as well, though. Yep, I'll just move forward. Okay, so both of their battleships have taken a nasty beating. So yeah, the tech advantage has been very nice for me. See if we can't massacre this dude. We can. And now to place my plasma guns where they'll do the most amount of damage against his bare hull. barrage over here as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and send a thermal barrage here. I'm gonna try to finish you off. Not gonna happen. It's worth a try though. Okay. Try to get into a more favorable 
position. Like that. Plasma guns. I'm gonna send the thermal missiles over here. Let's see if we can't get through the cruiser's shields. Kinda. Forgot about the antimatter torpedoes. I think that's what he was positioning himself for this whole time. Holy crap. I honestly think you should have moved and then used that on my... on him, but okay. And finish him. should be able to do the same. It is just a Corvette. Come on and do it. There we go. Time to upgrade the battle cruisers, though. Nice. Get out my territory. <laughs> I don't want to construct a carrier. Thank you, but no. Not the vessels I really like. I know I am probably underestimating them, but meh. Let's keep it balanced for now. And I'm probably going to, with this ship, I'm not going to do what I did with the battleship, which was put it all into weapons at the end. I think I'm just going to keep this one balanced all the way to the end. And yeah, apparently our barrages are what just keep getting stronger and stronger from here on out, which I can live with. Let's see what the AI does. Okay, we have our next battleship, one of them at least, which means our protective fleet here can be a little bit stronger. I think we're going, ooh, or I could just do that. Kill two birds with one stone here. So I think that should be my move for a little while here is clearing up their stations in the middle of my territory. So this is mine now, or it should be. Can't deploy a harvester there yet, and that would be one of the best places to deploy a harvester. That's almost out. That's fine. We'll put one there. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to send him here to clear this. And I need to start wiping out um, Imperial Navy shipyards in my territory. So they stop deploying to my territory. Yeah, I'd like it if they deployed outside of my territory and stayed the hell outside my territory. Uh, do I have any other battleships ready to go? I had multiple battleships being produced, did I not? Oh yeah, him. Uh, let's construct one here. And let's keep the battle cruisers constructed. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you up here. The next turn you'll be able to get your next battleship, and then I'm going to move you here. Okay. Let's 
Yeah, right now I'm just trying to boot the yellow guy out of my territory. Because I typically have the fleets on the edges of my territory enough uh, to keep the uh, other factions out of my territory. It's just the Imperial Navy that can deploy, you know, mid-system that's kind of kind of annoying. Oh, cool. I was about to say, crap, I should have... I was supposed to get a battleship and add it to that fleet. I still can. Because I got lucky. <laughs> Alright. Okay, and this fleet is going to... Yeah, make him the battle cruiser. This fleet is going to move this way. And you are going to start running up through here. Then I really won't have to worry about the AI in my territory anymore. You bastard. <laughs> That's fine. That was a weak fleet that I just kind of had. Like, I can still intercept him eventually. Ooh, that sucked for you. Oh, wow. The green dude is taking a beating. Holy crap. Now, most of these empty systems, like I said before, are kind of worthless, so... Yeah, but we still need to take a lot of them. Okay, blue guy is going to war. I think a lot of people are making moves to stop the yellow dude from <laughs> existing. What you gonna do? Just damn. Uh, I think I'm gonna send you over here. I wanna see a full battleship fleet in action. I'm gonna use that to take out this stronghold. Why wouldn't we want to see this? I mean, he's got a balanced fleet, which is probably the way you typically want to go in this game. But my battleships are brutal. All their, all their various weapon systems and everything. They hit every type of damage, it looks like. The only thing they don't have is a... Um, are the antimatter torpedoes. Yeah, I think most of these ships will just, aside from the battle cruisers, they'll just fold against uh, the battleship. can hit anybody. You, however, can start trying to put rounds into the Dreadnought. Good god, most of his shields are already gone. Yeah, no, keep firing. I think we can kill the... Okay, maybe. Yeah, I think it's got too much armor, even for this many battleships to kill in one go. Or maybe. Come on. <laughs> and there goes your dreadnought. Holy crap. Are 
You don't want to get that close, dude. I promise you. Like, I really do. That's a bad idea. Because I've already shown I can disable your shields. Very quickly. Once your shields are gone, well... Your fleet's not that much of a threat. Uh, let's aim for you. still do it. That sucks, still. Alright, bring the kinetic guns into there. Alright. Look, I get that I have other weapons. They are useless against guys who still have their shields. I don't have to pay to repair my ships. <laughs> that would suck. Let's go, dude. Come on. Alright, plasma. I'm gonna try to hit you with an EMP barrage, even though I know my other battleship is probably gonna take a few of those hits. Okay, come on. Could you hit him? You can. Bought some kinetic cannons over there then. EMP barrage. Jesus, that's a lot of missiles. Uh, let's go for you. Actually, not yet. There we go, that works. And dead. <laughs> wow, the battleships all grouped together like that are nasty. Okay, now I think for the most part he has no shipyards in the heart of my territory. And frankly, that was one of the things that was bugging me the most, is that he could just keep deploying in the middle of my territory. Hmm. So, orange and green are basically murdering each other and getting murdered by the yellow guy. It looks like me and blue are the only two that have an actual... fair amount of territory. Hmm. I guess I could deploy another fleet if I really wanted to. Not like I don't have the vessels for it. I do have a lot of vessels that are just... chilling. That'd be fun. Let's deploy a battle cruiser fleet. I have the ships for it. All right, let's end the turn. Yeah, the green is just struggling to keep his territory. Same with the orange. And now it looks like yellow is focusing on orange. Oh, not cool. Well, not cool for them. Really, it's all right for me. Hmm. 
guess I could move you here. Then I can move him here and run him down this way. Deploy Harvester. That was unnecessary, actually. Nice. Really feels like the orange dude's in headlong retreat. Okay. 69 regions. Oh, that's just perfect. <laughs> Take this. So let's just make it 70. And turn. Yeah, for the most part, it doesn't look like the yellow guy wants to encroach on my territory. It seems like he is busy. Ooh, Tacnium Warhead. I think the yellow guy probably has like an infinite number of ships because he is able to throw out all kinds of fleets. I mean, it is the Imperial Navy, and they had the resources of the entire galaxy behind them for a while. Before everything fell apart with the Tacnium shortage. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to move along this way now. Okay, Harvester. There we go, that's a good place for a Harvester. And let's build another battleship. Yeah, I've been meaning to take all these territories for a very long time. I think it's just time to finally take those steps. Yeah, see, they can just keep deploying fleets. And they want that green dude just gone. I mean, it's no skin off my teeth, but hey. It's teeth, nose, whatever. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to move you here. That claims that spot. I think I, once I consolidate my hold on these areas, we'll be fine. To start expanding out to the sides. That is pretty much my end goal here, right? Down you go. I know I still have areas down here to conquer. Like, I'm not too worried about these, but I did want this consolidated. Oh, we can deploy another harvester. How about to this forward position again? Oh, we're running low on tacnium, though. Start moving into my territory, I will kill you, Blue. You are not in any position to continue going to war with the rest of us. Especially me, when you're already fighting quite extensively the other dude. Okay, I'm going to move you here. So I can get near this station to take it out. Next turn, you're moving there to cover the spot. Holy shit. A big fleet blue just deployed. <laughs> Poor green. Holy crap. All right, now, you're going to move here. I'm going to see if there's anywhere else I want to deploy some tachnium. There we go. Oh, 
Okay then. Might not be a bad idea to deploy a fleet here. And then this can actually take all this if I really want it to. I kind of do. Alright, so this is held. So I can move you down here, take this, and then come back up. Okay. We see exactly what our goals are. But with this, though, I think we are all out of time for today. So thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more Final Theory, because it looks like we are well on our way to getting the Final Theory Warhead. So hopefully we see that soon. Thanks again for watching, guys.